hey, how about it? No matter how crappy your day was at work, you get home, you look in the mailbox, you see that package hanging out, you know it's got the knife that you just ordered. Hallelujah, it's here. Get it inside, tear into that box. Oh, baby, this is the one. This is the knife that's going to take away all my troubles. Mm. Talk about soul draining right there because now, now you got to grab the KPL, you got to grab your Torx, and you got to jack with that action for about 20 minutes. Well, guess what? That's exactly what inspired me to make this list of my top 15 fidget knives with perfect out of box action. Hey, how you doing? If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. My name is Jay. Go ahead and consider clicking on that subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the point. And don't forget, links to buy and any coupon codes will be listed down in the description. All right, let's get started with that number 15 I've got from Best Tech. That's the swordfish. Okay, so this is just a little bit larger than what I normally like to carry every day, but that action, oh man. I, I mean, there's just no denying that it is fantastic. And what does it take? Like maybe an eighth of a shake to get that close. Let's see. Can I fail it? Oh, no. I thought I'd be able to fail this pretty easy. No, I'm not able to. Holy cow. Number 14 is a knife. I just love this little guy. It's the uh, Sencut Scepter. It really doesn't matter to me what else comes out the rest of this year because... Man, as far as small knives go, this is darn near perfect for me. I mean, it's, it's even got the two-position deep carry pocket clip. What else can you ask for? Oh, there is one thing that I wouldn't mind seeing. Uh, just a little bit larger of a, of a finger choil, because that, yeah, that's dangerously small. But the action, that is, that's insane. All right, how about 13. From IKIV, this is the G02. You know, when I first got this knife, I had the uh, I had the one with it had like the blue and gold carbon fiber weave, and I didn't hold on to it because I thought it was just I thought it was a bit much for me. But I'm gonna tell you now that I have the black G10, I kind of want to get that carbon fiber one. I want to get that one back. And I know I've probably shown you this before, but I just love that this knife, you only have to pull on down on one side of the lock to get it to close. And, you know, like with some Benchmades, you have to actually pull down on both of those to get it to shut. <laughs> Number 12. How about the Pilar 3 from CRKT? Well, I know this knife being on the list just can't be a surprise to anyone because I've been, I mean, I've been gushing over this friggin' thing ever since it was released. And that action is just, that's nuts. If you blink, literally, you will miss, you'll miss the close. And the Spidey flick, flawless. Number 11 is a knife, man, that I really gotta, I really gotta learn how to pronounce this. It's the Citivine ST102. I'm sure that's wrong. I am really glad to see that these are finally back in stock because I, I was, I gotta admit, I was worried for a minute there because uh, they sold out pretty quick, but it looks like they also replenished that stock even uh, even quicker. But this one and the, uh, the Warncliffe version has like the same exact incredible action. How about number 10? From CH, this is the 3001. I don't know if I've ever pointed this out before, but the the factory edge on this, it is, I'm telling you, by far the sharpest knife that I have ever received with a factory edge. You see that? That's insane. Not only is this thing a, a razor blade, but watch that watch this drop shut <laughs> i love it the only issue that i really have with this is i hate to say it and this is going to sound nuts but it's almost like it's too light because you look at the metal and then when you pick it up you're like oh i mean it feels like one of those uh those airplanes those toy airplanes made out of balsa wood 
Number nine is coming to us from Zero Tolerance. This is the ZT0450. Now I'm pretty sure that this is probably the most expensive knife on the list. And man, I don't know why I don't show this more often. I really should. And if you're wondering why that uh, this, because you know, this normally comes with a with a satin blade. Well, I went ahead and I just combined the carbon fiber version with with this uh, titanium one. Just swapped out some of the parts, and you know, because I like I like having something that's a little bit different. Number eight is a knife that I know is really tough to find right now in stock at uh, retailers, but that'll change. Don't worry. It's the Kaiser Cormorant. I know I was a little bit rough on this knife when I first talked about it, like in my in my first look video, but, and I still, I'm, I'm going to stand by with what I said. I love, I love the action. I love how it cuts. I love just about everything except for the blade shape. Really, that's, that's about it. And it's just this, this kind of top part just bugs me a little bit, but I fully agree with everybody else. It's a fantastic knife and judging by how hard it is to find, uh, you all kind of feel the same way. Number seven, I got the Bruiser, and it's from Tuya. This knife, when this knife came out, it actually was released well before, like, the whole D2 craze started. I mean, now, D2 blade steel is used on just about every single budget knife. Well, back when this came out, it was not yet. So this might be one of the knives that are kind of responsible for that trend and that action. Part of the reason the action is so good is with that big, giant clip point blade. I mean, it just helps it to drop shut. But if you are interested in picking up one of these, head over to White Mountain Knives. Use my coupon code, Lefty Love, lowercase. Save yourself 10% and get a knife with just amazing, amazing action. Number six is going to be another button lock. This is the Orion Solaris. Those of you that don't know, this knife was actually designed by another uh, fellow YouTuber, David, over at, at Blade Banter. Yeah, this is his knife. And I got to tell you, it is, it's an incredible fidget knife. I'll make sure and have the link to his website so you can go ahead and pick up one of these. But 14C28N, Sandvik blade steel, really good stuff. Nice, big large generous forward finger choil actually i could almost fit two fingers in that choil but the action oh yeah that's definitely the star of the show with this knife and what list could ever be complete without a ganzo firebird knife yep that's the fh12 and i know a minute ago i was talking about you know knives kind of starting trends well i believe that this one well not this one this is the uh, the fh12 but the fh11 with the g10 scales that was actually the first ganzo firebird fh series knife and man when that came out everybody went nuts over it and you know it's justifiable because this thing just has amazing action Oof. number four from Savivi. this is the keen natter n690 blade steel man the action three different deployment options you got a fuller you got thumb studs and a really nice flipper tab with a generous forward finger choil and check out that blade thickness yeah that is some pretty thick stock right there not a bit not a huge fan of tanto blades but this one is actually starting to convert me to that religion number three from steel will how about the cut jack this is actually not my first cut jack. I, I've purchased a couple of these with the M390 blade, and I've noticed that all three of... Well, wait, before I get into that, let me show you the action, because it is just sick. Look at that. The couple that I've purchased, all three of them have had blade centering issues. You see that? It's off to the side just a little bit. And that's been all three of them. Maybe, I, and maybe I'm just unlucky. No, that'd be nuts. There's no way that I could just get all, you know, three that are that far off centered. So let me know if that's been, uh, if you've noticed the very same thing. Sound off in the comments. 
Number two from Hogue. This is the Ritter RSK. Made right here in the good old US of A. Now they're using 20 CV steel, but when they first came out, they would say, and I apologize if you can't see it. Oh, right there. Yep. M390. And, you know, M390 and 20 CV, it's, it's chemically, it's the same exact type of steel. It's just what's marked on the blade. And that's how you can tell if it's a uh, first generation. Before I go ahead and show you my number one, I'd love to know what are some of the knives that you can come up with that just have incredible out of box action. Just list as many as you possibly can down in the comments. All right, here it is. My number one favorite fidget knife with just perfect out of box action. Yeah, that is going to be a honey badger. Have you noticed like every time I do a like a top 10, top 15, top 20 list about fidget knives, you can always you're guaranteed to pretty much always see the honey badger. And for good reason. I mean, the action is amazing. These used to cost a little bit less when they first came out. I've noticed the price is creeping up just a little bit. But hey, I guess that's expected when something becomes when it becomes popular. All right, so up on the screen now is a video that I did go ahead and pick out myself for you to watch next. And don't forget to go ahead and click on that subscribe. And hey, if you enjoyed this video, got any value from it, just let me know by leaving one of these. I gotta go. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you at the next video. I love you guys. Take care.